There now, you see? It's not just women that look at other women and are like, Oh, she's up to something bad. See, sometimes little boys do it, too. <laughs> Sexist against your it's own true. kind. It's true, and I'm, I'm an embarrassment to my kind, I guess. Yes. Well, I, I kind of egged you on, though, too. I'm like, yeah, yeah, they do, but men... You're a jerk. Yeah, but men kind of go and start wars and kill things. So, you know, if I had to choose... You know why they I, do that, though? Because there's that woman. I don't like him, sweetheart. Go kill him for me. All the wars in the world are caused because of that? <laughs> wow. I didn't know we were that stupid. <laughs> think about it, man. Seriously, think about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about what it. What would you do for your wife? And I want to start oh. a war. I'll be back. See? <laughs> okay. All right, my... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like totally on board. Like, yes! Oh. <laughs> no, no, I want to take over the vlog. No, oh, no, that'll never happen. Damn it. <laughs> I'm the master. And now I get that segue. Damn it, you worked in a segue without me even knowing it. But, <laughs> and you saw the title, too! Yeah, I know. So oh. I'm, I'm really bad. Okay, well, speaking of which, <laughs> Henchman. This is Henchman. Um, another uh, Marceline episode, which is a, uh, uh, as you said, a fan favorite. Oh, yeah. And I, I can sort of see, again, I can sort of see why, because she just sort of, even if it's not really evil, she just sort of does her own shit. You know, it's just like... Eh, like, I'm gonna make something look really, really evil, and no, it's just, I'm just singing for a little baby born. Come on, this is fun. Um, and so, okay, so she has this henchman that's, like, really, really old, and Finn gives up his... After sliding down that thing, what the hell is the bones of that thing? That, that's, I want to know the story behind that thing. Um, <laughs> but, uh... So she goes, and, uh, so he gives up, he trades himself this old man, uh, and he becomes the henchman, Finn becomes the henchman, and Jake keeps trying to save him, but he's too terrified. Um, <laughs> and boy, some good transformations with him in this one. I love when he sinks his head in, almost like a jar. Yeah. Because uh, he's so afraid. I love when he's about to attack her. As soon as she turns around, he shrinks down really small, <laughs> runs away. I mean, good, good jokes with that. Um, and Finn agrees, but he's constantly, he keeps thinking something bad is going to happen. She makes it look like some bad's gonna happen. It's always something nice and positive and, you know, actually helpful most of the time. <laughs> and by the end, he says, hey, I've caught on to your game. And she's like, oh, that's no fun. And they split ways, pretty much. <laughs> she fires him for being a henchman because it's not, much fun, not as much fun if she can't mess with him. Uh, and then Jake tries to kill her. For the first time we see what happens when she's in sunlight, it gets... I don't want to say gruesome, but it is sort of like, yikes. <laughs> you know, the coach just had her go, ugh, but no, she's like all getting all red and crumbling and stuff, so, um, uh, but that was cool. And, yeah, that's a, a fun episode. I mean, I, I do like the character. I like, I like that she's keeping him on his toes, and I like that you can't quite fully figure her out. Like, like I said, she just seems like a party girl. Like, just any, anything she wants to do, she just sort of does. I think that's always a fun character. I mean, even if she wants to even if her, like, title is Queen of Vampires, like, if she just wanted to do something good for fun, like, I want to help somebody. Well, no reason, you know, just, it's, yeah. I like it. She's just whatever she's in the mood for. I, I just think that's a fun, cool character. So, how about you guys? Well, I love her, and I love, love, love this episode. I love, I think what I love about her is, I mean, everything that you said, too, she has that certain freedom of she's free, in a sense, and that she'll do whatever she wants, and it doesn't matter. And I think a lot, well, okay, I'm giving her a backstory that probably is completely wrong, but I don't care. Probably is. Uh, oh, I'm sure. I've just decided in my head <laughs> that this is what's going to happen. No, I just, I felt like the way she was acting in this episode, it's, it was pretty interesting because it's like someone that kind of just never really fit in or someone that's kind of been, you know, just viewed differently. And it's like instead of sitting back and going, oh, man, this sucks. Everybody's afraid of me because I'm a vampire, but I'm a really great girl. You know, she's like, yeah, okay, I'm a little weird. I'm a little odd, but whatever. I'll do what I want. I know I'm not a bad person. It's fine. And, and it's kind of like I feel like a lot of times you, you develop some friendships with certain people where you have certain, you know, ideas about a person when you first meet them. And the more you get to know them, you're like, oh, my gosh, they're kind of great or they're kind of this or they're kind of that. And it was really weird. It's like she owns that she's not normal. She's a vampire queen and people are scared of her and she owns it. And that's okay because she knows... 
that she's not really doing anything wrong, and she doesn't have to because she doesn't want to. She's just well, gonna be. So, so sometimes I mean, she does wrong. So she did keep. Why not? I guess she she didn't technically. All the places Finn was going in the last episode, she did technically own. They were, <laughs> so that's and, true. And, she wasn't technically doing anything wrong. Well, and if you think about it, what was it? It was like, well, she just thought they were really great, and she just wanted what they had because mm -hmm. it was great. I mean, it's kind of a. a an immature way of dealing with it mm. but in a sense again she wasn't malicious about it she wasn't kicking them out because she she was just a jerk. She she just wanted what they had. She but, wanted but it, their happiness. But but it, it let, let's man not because it was being a jerk, but it was a perk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give it back. I'm sure she's like I'm a jerk. That was fun. Yeah. You know, sort of thing. But the other thing I noticed too is that uh, I never noticed in the last episode. I never noticed the bite marks that oh, yeah, she had. Yeah. yeah, I actually never ever picked up on that. So uh, you know, so that shows okay. So she was definitely like not born but bitten. So she probably had whatever a different life you know before this and then however she rose to the ranks of vampire queen if that maybe she's just the last one she declares herself the queen of vampires or something it's like we don't <laughs> know her backstory so she she would be a fun one to know the backstory of because I, I wouldn't mind knowing like how she got not necessarily like how she became a vampire or anything but just how she got this personality because it is such a fun I've seen everything personality. Like, I've seen the world, nothing shocks me anymore. I want to just have fun, you know, kind of thing. So, it, it, do they go more into the backstory? In five episodes, you will learn... It's the episode one of season two. You'll learn a tiny, tiny bit about... Not necessarily her backstory, but her family, if you will. Um, but yes, yeah, she is one of the characters where you learn a lot about her backstory. That's cool. They, they expand a lot on it, and it's very interesting. Cool. Yeah, very cool. So, how about you? What do you got? I just thought this episode was about how the way women play mind games with <laughs> their boyfriends or, you know, their husbands. You know, she said a sexist thing last time, but she just barely got away with it because she is that sex. Now you're going to throw <gasps> your nuts. piece in there. No, but look at, the, look at how the episode goes. And Finn said it himself. She just likes to play games. <laughs> And women like to play games with guys. And women, you now, know Now, it. hold on, hold on. Now, to be fair, men, men definitely like their games, too. You know what? Okay, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, but, no, no, no. But, but, but things have branched out more. There's a lot of things where I used to really think, like, oh, yeah, well, women do this, men do that and stuff. But I think especially now, things are branching out much more where I see women doing stuff where I'm like, well, it's usually a guy thing, and men do stuff where it's like, well, it's usually a woman thing, both positive and negative. And I think it really is branching out more and more. And I think some things do lean more towards women, more towards men. But I don't know. I, I think stuff like that is really branching out because I've seen some guys do some dick mind games with women I know. I was just talking the episode. I, you know, but then you say, well, you know women. No, you say, you know women, you know... Uh, they oh, I was making them. a joke with that. Oh, okay. You're not no, no, with, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, but with this episode, it seemed to be kind of like, if Finn and Marceline were dating in this episode, we'll say, it's kind of like the mind games that the girl would be playing on him or, mm -hmm. you know, with him and all that stuff. That's kind of how I looked at it. Hmm. hmm, that's interesting. And of course, you have Jake one. as Finn's best friend, who hates who Finn is, quote unquote, dating. And they're not <laughs> dating in a man, they are. <laughs> but it's kind of like that, you know. No, she's brainwashed you. Think about it. It's all that, and that's like a lot of times what happens when guys date someone. Their friends get upset <laughs> and get brainwashed by the oh lady. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, it, I, I thought I got a problem with the last comment. It's like, oh no, you just took it. It's like, okay, we're gonna have some fun comments. <laughs> no, that's just the way I saw it personally. No, I love Marceline. Marceline's a great character. Um, and I think Jory's right though. Like, she is that type of character where it's just like, I want to be accepted, but I don't know exactly how to get into your circle of friends or to hang out with you proper, so I have to do it my own way. She's probably in denial about whether or not she kind of wants to be in that circle mm -hmm. of friends or not. I think her thought is sort of like, well, I'm doing this because it'll just kind of be fun. And if mm -hmm. I get some friends out of it, eh, cool. But it doesn't really matter to me when in all probability it does really matter to her. Yeah. She just doesn't really know it. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I'm curious to know more about this character. I'm glad they are going to go uh, oh, they do. Uh, more into her backstory. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... It, I like it. I, I thought it was a good episode. Any other totally horrible sexist remarks either you two have? No, but I love her voice. The The voice actress who does the singing is wonderful. It's the same uh, 
uh, the That's voice, what I mean. Okay. The voice actress of Marceline also has a very good singing voice. I do enjoy... Uh, I really do enjoy her voice. I also do like how the, the nice lullaby song is about, like, you know, ripping <laughs> eyes yeah, out and stuff out. like that. And I, I know one, one other thing before I, I let uh, Jason finish off here. Uh, I'm, I'm noticing more and more the... Again, I think when we started off, I'm like, you know, could they say sexy on a kid show? And it's like, watch these last few episodes, like, we got bra thrown in there. I think Jake said that's totally balls in, yes. like, the last episode. Yes. I'm like... Dude! <laughs> skeleton like, grabs his butt in this one. Yeah, I mean, it's like, they're... I, I don't think I'm upset, just more <laughs> shocked. <laughs> I'm just shocked that they really can't get away with so much. I mean, I guess it's always, well, can you make the argument that balls could be like, uh oh, balls that kids, you know, play with, like a baseball or something like that? It's like, you could, technically, you know. Well, uh, maybe that's the, that's the thing, is that it's so random and so confusing. Remember when you first started watching and you're like, I just don't know what I watch. Hmm. That's how it gets through the censors. They're maybe. like, I don't even maybe know. Maybe they just okay. see it as like, you know what? Don't say like any of the five swear words you know can't make it on TV and we're good. <laughs> that's the plan. Confuse the censors. It, it does seem that way. It does seem like they'll just watch and just be like, okay, just... Uh, what we watch at Adventure Time? Oh, just just give it a pass. <laughs> <laughs> Do they say any swear words now? Okay, just give it a pass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, how about you, Jason? No, just random sexist comment. Random <laughs> sexist comment. I'm gonna go play in the in the in the knife ring. Segway. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs>